Good evening. This is Akashvani Gohima. I am Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. President Draupadi Mumu virtually inaugurates Visitor Facilitation Center at Rastra Pati, Nilea. Advisor Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services, Kajedo Kinimi says, government committed to strengthen veterinary health services and increase livestock products and poultry farming in the next 10 years. A CERT director says the state aims to ensure every school in Nagaland to have at least two professionally trained school counsellors and try Hull's consumer outreach program in Kohima. Now the news in detail. President Robert Mumu has virtually inaugurated the Visitor Facilitation Centre, VFC, at Rastrapati Nilayam today. Speaking on the occasion, the President said the VFC is another significant step to connect people with the rich heritage of the country. She said that the goal behind developing these attractions is to nurture a community of young, enthusiastic change makers who will carry forward the rich legacy of the nation. The President said the historical attractions at Rastra Pati Nilayam, including 120-feet replica of the historic wooden flag post, Jai Hin Step Well, Maze Garden, Children's Park, and the Divine Shiva and Nanti Pool sculptures in the Rock Garden are enabling visitors to immerse themselves in the cultural richness of the country. She further urged youth to seize the opportunity to explore and understand the history of the nation. The President also urged all to reaffirm their commitment to unity and development of the country while continuing to preserve and celebrate the rich heritage. Advisor for Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services, Kajedo Ginimi, today said that the present government is committed to strengthen veterinary health services in the state and provide elite progenies to increase livestock products and commercialise livestock and poultry farming in the next 10 years. He was speaking during the General Association of Nagaland Veterinarian Association under the theme Livestock Scenario in Nagaland, Recent Trends and Challenges in Kohima. Ginimi said the government has also agreed to construct three new veterinary hospitals in newly created districts along with addition of machineries in certain hospitals. He called to address emerging diseases like African swine fever and lumpy skin disease affecting livestock and poultry in the state and encouraged members to rise above the present issues through technical knowledge. The advisor also loaded the department for registering three indigenous animals of the state as a breed including Denivo, Semine Code and Nagal Bik. Speaking on livestock scenario in Nagaland, recent trends and challenges, Joint Director for Animal Husbandry and Veterinary, Dr. B. M. Sinab, said livestock rearing is a part and parcel of every Naga life since time immemorial and has been a very important part of our economy. Sinab observed that every household, both in rural and urban areas, rear livestock for domestic consumption. Therefore, with increased consumptions of meat and meat products, agro-climatic conditions and market demands has made livestock farming very attractive and profitable entrepreneurial activity. Dr. K. N. Zbemohomzoi and Dr. Vikado Sema were elected as President and General Secretary along with other executives for the tenure 2024-26. The curriculum and new syllabus for fifth batch of one-year diploma in school counselling was released today by Director, State Council of Educational Research and Training, SCRT Nagalin, Gevira Leu Kerho. Releasing this during the induction programme of the fifth batch of the one-year diploma in school counselling at Kohima, Kerho said that the primary objective of the course is to train teachers and to pro- provide professionally trained school counsellors so as to ensure that every school in Nagaland will have at least one male and one female professionally trained school counsellors. She said the training focuses on development of knowledge, development of skills and development of attitude as a counsellor. Gerho said that the training will be given through role play, demonstration, PowerPoint presentation, face-to-face interaction, blended with regular counselling practice. 
Based on these objectives, a new syllabus for one-year diploma in school counselling has been developed by a CRT with the help of professionals and subject experts from St. Joseph University, Jumukedima, she said, stating that a lot of hard work has gone into the making of this new syllabus. Gerhol thanked all the counsellors and professionals led by Head of School Counselling, a CRT, for the hard work and dedication. The director further expressed hope that the syllabus will serve as a roadmap for both trainers as well as trainees, providing a clean path to achieving the desired goal. This news comes to you from Akashvani Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News On Air app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. The Delicom Regulatory Authority of India, TRI, organized consumer outreach program in Kohima today. Additional DG of Telecom Northeast Region, Sushil Kumar said the event is to provide consumer awareness like tariffs, value-added services, mobile number portability, radiations for mobile tower, among others. He said the program will give information on cyber security and its inputs on information technology and smart devices. Kumar also emphasized that the event will help in protecting interests of consumers and avoid fraudulent activities. The additional DG also thanked TRI for providing uninterrupted power connectivity in Nagalin and hoped that the same services will continue and extend to all district headquarters of the state. Secretary Department of IT, Government of Nagalin, M. Ali Shihab A. said Government of India has taken an initiative called Universal Service Obligation Funds, USOF, to ensure that remote and rural areas are covered, reducing digital divide within the country. In this aspect, he said that in Nagaland, this task is assigned to BSNL. He said the government of Nagaland has also proposed an IT hub where any student or entrepreneur can come and do innovation, economic activity, for which a good connectivity was necessary. A presentation on electromagnetic radiation from the cellular tower was presented by DOT Director Mina. Cybercrime OC Nagaland Police Kehika Chishi spoke on cybercrime and cyber security measures and precautionary measures to be taken by the ordinary consumers to protect themselves from such crime or fraud's. An awareness program for brick clean, sand mohal and stone crusher units under National Clean Air Program, NCAP, was organised by District Administration Dimapu today. ADC and Administrator of East Dimapu Town Council, Mahalo Hunzoi, called the stakeholders to take responsibility for the society and to look for a better way to improve the air in Dimapu. She informed that the Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change launched NCAP in 2019 with the aim to improve air quality in the country by engaging all stakeholders. Humzoi asked the stakeholders to follow guidelines under NCAP. The second batch of Diploma in Computer Application course under Bedi Bachao Bedi Barhao was organised by Kohima District Administration in collaboration with District Hub for Empowering of Women, Kohima today. ESC Development Kohima, Mua Sinapke Jungru, said that the program is a campaign to empower women and ask the selected candidates to take advantage of the course. Jingru also encouraged students to upgrade their skills and get acquainted to hand on skill in computing to cope up with advanced technologies. Managing Director Banya Institute, Kevi Boto Sheki, briefed the Banya Institute impact basic skills to the students including Microsoft Office package in addition to Photoshop and other fundamental basics. And now 20 news, here are the headlines again. President Draupadi Murmur virtually inaugurates Visitor Facilitation Centre at Rastra Padi Nilayam. Advisor Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services Gajedo Ginimi says government committed to strengthen veterinary health services and increase livestock products and poultry farming in the next 10 years. A CRT director says the state aims to ensure every school in Nagaland to have at least two professionally trained school counsellors and try holds consumer outreach programme in Kohima. 
That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night. <laughs>